in the beginning, what they did, they took this rhesus monkey, okay, and a Neanderthal, okay. The, the, the Neanderthal didn't even come after that. Let me show. Let me show you. Let me show you when the Neanderthal came. Okay, so they took they took this rhesus monkey, and they injected this rhesus monkey into into a into a black African woman, which is the beginning. Okay, when you take this rhesus monkey, and you inject the genes or you splice the genes into a black African woman, you get this Bigfoot being. Okay, if you ever heard anything to do with the Bigfoot theory. This is where it came from. And if you take this Bigfoot, this Bigfoot creature, and you crossbreed it again with, uh, with, the, with the black African woman, you get the aboriginals. And if you take this aboriginal person, okay, and crossbreed it with a black woman, you get this, the cave people. Okay, you see these variations of cave people? Okay. And if you take these cave people, cave people, and you splice them with different genes, okay, with a black African woman, what you get is this, the, ch the Cheddarman, okay, this, this is where you go to Europe. When you go to Europe, the first European was black, a black person with straight hair, okay? So when you start to say, oh yeah, we, we was already here, you, you guys are retarded, okay? You take this, this European, and you splice it with a black woman, what do you get? You get Luzia. So that's what this this is where you guys are, but you don't understand that this this took place. You don't understand this uh, metamorphosis took place. The evolution. This is what Darwin was kind of talking about, but Darwin didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. He, he he was just saying a bunch of things, but he had an idea of what he was talking about. Okay, he had he had, he had an inkling of, of 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 understanding how these genes were evolving. And to even prove it, when we look at all of these genes, look at these people. You see this person? Okay? We've got women with beards. Okay? You see? We've got women with beards. Don't we have that today? We do. We've got, we've got black people that are half black and half white. <laughs> Am I lying, bro? Am I lying? We've got, we've got these, we've got a mixed race person with freckles, and we've got a black person that is half black and half white. Which means there is no such thing as race, really. This means the the, the, the beginning was the African. This the, the African woman is the, is the mother of all these these beings. That's why these beings have all of this. When you go to America, you start to see people that look like this, that look like this, that look like this. Okay, and when you even when you even go into the early stages, or you you, you look at anomalies in genes. Okay, anomalies is when sometimes we have a. a, a these are called degenerations, okay? You get people that have dog hair like this, like Lassie, okay? And you even look at this dog. This dog has human DNA. That's why it's got a, a human-looking face, okay? You go to India, this is what you find, okay? And they explain this in films like uh, Werewolf. You, you thought this stuff was to do with, with, oh, yeah, we're just making films. No, bro, Okay? You go to Ethiopia, China, you get people with, with horns on their heads, just like goats, okay? Um, let me show you a bit more, just in case some of you people think you, you, you know what the hell is going on, and you don't. You go to Africa, you, you see people with, these are people that were engineered on different um, islands, so what they were doing is the Anunnaki were taking genes and splicing them with different animals. These people have ostrich feet. Okay, is this a lie? No, it's not. And when you go to even places like Nigeria, you get you get a, a woman that's half a woman, half a man. I'm off of that. Okay, which means well, this is this, they they speak about this in the Dogon tribe. We go to the Dogon tribe, Dogon mythology. They tell you their god was. Half man, half woman, which means every single human being, at some point, were half man and half woman. Okay. So, in order for the Anunnaki to to kind of create a world where you stay on this planet, they had to they had to split the woman and the and the man to create a woman and a man. So you spend your whole life looking for your what they call soulmate, okay? 
but really and truly, it's not a soulmate. It's one person. Okay, a woman and a man together is actually one person, and this is why they're explaining this. So when you go in the Bible, they tell you, oh yeah, when you when you when you when you get married, and your wife, you become one. But when you look when you look at Afri Af these Africans, you have a, 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 a woman that is half a man, half a half a man, half a man, half a woman. Because these are homophobes. These are actual human beings. Okay? You you look you go to Europe, what you see? You see women with beards. I can't make this stuff up, bro. You see this one? Look at it. Look at it though. Um you see, it's, 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 it's everywhere. You get people born with, with free legs, okay? Uh you got dwarfs. You got these men, half man, half woman, people. Look at these. Look at all these women. All these women have beards. Okay. <laughs> you you sure you sure be one channel that's that's, that's dropping this. There's not one person that knows this stuff because you, people are idiots. Okay. And uh, let's 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 see if we can show you a bit more. Um, you go to India. You see people born with tails. Like this, like dogs, okay? Am I lying? This child is born with a tail. This child got a tail. This child got a tail. This child got a tail. This is an Indian person, yeah? This is a European person. And you see this this man here is standing here and he's got a tail like a dog. This this um Indian look, Mexican looking person got a tail like a dog. Are we lying guys? Okay, let's go to the aboriginals. Look at this aboriginal person's face okay phenotype means the study of the facial anatomy okay that's what they that's what they call it in, in in biology if you was to go and study phenotype of human beings and study the skulls of human beings you're basically studying the golden ratio which is uh, to do with the uh, fibonacci uh fibonacci code which is the fibonacci uh, ratio they call it the golden ratio. If you study photography or uh, portraiture, they will tell you the distance from the eyes to the nose to the lips is what tells you the phenotype of a human being, not just looking at their faces. You're looking at the distances between the face, you know, between the eyes and the features on the face. And when you look at the, um, the skull of the human being, that's what determines what the human being's face is going to look like, the facial structure, okay? That's what we mean when we say phenotype. We're not talking just about hair and skin color. We're talking about the whole structure of the skull, the whole distance from the eyes to the nose to the lips. And you see this aboriginal person has a face which is ape-like in phenotype, okay? You explain, Lucia, to me, bro, okay? Um, oh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, let's, let's, let's look at it, and when you even, uh, when you even look at bands like uh, Coldplay, Coldplay had this on the, on the, on the album cover, Coldplay is one of the baddest, one of the biggest, um, iconic bands to ever write songs on the planet, people like David Bowie and people like that. They were they they what they call icons, okay? And um, they 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 even came up with this concept as well, or explored this concept, okay? Look at these people's faces. These are aboriginals, yeah. And you see how they have these eight black features, eight black features, eight black features, eight black features, okay? These are called the Australoid people, which were one of the first indigenous people in America, okay? The, the the original beings of America and you guys are saying this is you this is not you bro okay you see all these people and look at their hair the, the hair texture is what tells you the origin or what took place in the genes okay you don't just get this hair you get this hair because of genetic engineering not Luzia okay big difference look at it Look at it though. 
Look at these species. Look, 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 at, look at these um, species on um, faces. Look at the faces of these. And as you can tell, that this is where this is where it came from, because it came from this genetic splicing. And when you splice genes, you get anomalies. The anomalies will be sometimes people come up with ginger hair. Okay, this is where you start to get all these um Aboriginal looking people. But all of this is is found every single every single uh, place on the map. Where you look at and uh, you get these black people with blonde hair, it's because genetic splicing took place. Have you have, have you got this information? No, you don't. Well, the only thing you know is our oh, we used to we used to use bear grease, just idiotic. Okay, the hair came from. Look where the hair came from. Okay, this is where the hair came from. It's all of this stuff is recorded and it's archived in the genes. The genes is what determines um, what the people are going to look like based on their genes, based on their origins, okay? In order for, for these Anunnaki beings to create to human beings, they had to splice genes with different animals to create variations of races. That's how genes work, bro, okay? And when you look at these albinos okay albinism is just basically what albinism is is um when the genes that is supposed to activate the melanin to different parts of the of the of the body are inactive okay that's called degeneration it's not called mutation there's a, there's a big difference between the two understand the terminologies when you use the mutation means going forwards or something metamorphosizing into something um, higher, okay? But this is lesser because what's happening is that the gene in the hair is inactive, so the hair comes out blood, okay? The genes in the skin are inactive, so the skin comes out fair, okay? That's, 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 that's how it works. That's how genes work. And you can see these, these albinos have freckles okay that's an anomaly that's found in human beings because of of what genetic engineering and degeneration find the same thing with animals polar bears we've got the bear the grizzly one and we got the polar bear we've got the uh, African lion and we have these African white lions which are hybrids not really hybrids but they degenerate um, uh, what's it called um, uh, what's it called? It's called um, version of it. Okay, when you go to America, what do you see? You see a whole bunch of people with hazel-looking eyes, and they still have African features. You see that same shit when you go to Ethiopia. It's, 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 let's go to Ethiopia, bro. Ethiopia. Let's explore Ethiopian genes. What happens is people that have, have these smooth-looking foreheads, and this this this. Uh, round looking faces because these beings are mixed with middle eastern genes every i would say about about 80 percent of 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 um somalian people are mixed with middle eastern genes okay you don't believe it go and take a dna test okay take a dna test and let's 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 see about it let's see what comes up you see it you see it? Okay. That's what's happening. Now let's let's break down this 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 Olmec nonsense. These beings that are called the Olmecs, they were giants, and you can tell that these these beings had a high high um advanced technology to even make up this stuff. These are giants, okay? And look at the technology they got. These 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 beings had headphones on. Okay, headphones, communication, headphones. In ancient times, there is not one person that did that had headphones back in those days. Your, your granddad had headphones. Your granddad did not have nothing in the headphones. You, you need to stop this. Okay, look at look, look look at these beings. These are giant beings. They're not regular beings. Okay, 
This is not your granddad. Look at it. Let's look at the Olmecs. This is an Olmec head. There's not one black person on the planet that has the technology to make an Olmec head today. There is not one human being, okay, on the planet that can make an Olmec head. And if you don't believe me, go in your go in your back garden, and I want you to I want to see you create um, an Olmec head using this stone, okay. Um, okay, this is this is a granite stone. Okay, in order for you to cut this, you need to have a, a diamond cutter in this instrument to cut this, and even the diamond cutting instrument to, to cut this, it will struggle to, to even cut these these pre precision lines. Okay, these heads were created by giants. That is, that's just, you know, and they were created by highly civilized people. And in order for you to understand this, you need to have a study of archaeology and a study of anthropology, a study of genealogy, a study of phenotype, a study of um, pathology, because these, these, these methodologies, they, they teach you how to calculate these results. You have to qualify what you say. If your granddad was an Olmec, you show me one granddad in your whole family that could create this head headstone. Okay? And this person is about let's let's be generous. He's about six feet tall. This this Olmec head alone is about ten feet tall. Okay? Ten feet to like fifteen. You cannot make this, okay? You, you can't make this today, but you 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 wanna you, you wanna have people believing your granddad was making. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Black, black people, are the most ridiculous people on the planet, bro. I, I I don't talk to black people. This is just silly. Some of the stuff you niggas be saying, okay? Um, these are these are these are interlocking rocks found in Peru, uh, Brazil, America, uh, Ethiopia, uh. Africa, all of these, you cannot make this, you see this one rock here, you cannot cut this rock with any technology on this planet, okay, and let you alone to even try interlock it with all these other rocks, you see the precision that it takes to cut this, okay, in order for an Olmec to cut this, there had to be a highly civilized being using about 80% of their brains, okay, your granddad was not doing this, okay? Your granddad was not cutting rocks to precision where the, the, these rocks can interlock. Do you, do, do you know the technology that, that needs to be used to... You need to use some magnetic radi radiation cutting, diamond cutting uh, technology to cut this. Even a diamond cutter can't, cannot cut this rock, okay? Before I even cut this one line here, your machine, your machine will be in fire or something, okay? It's ridiculous, guys. Some of the stuff you niggas be saying is just the most retarded things. And you find all this stuff everywhere, okay? You go to Egypt to find this stuff everywhere. And you see, you see, you see, you see. Okay? This is not your granddad. You see this guy's hair? It's not your granddad, bro. Okay? Um, See all these people? These are not your granddads, okay? You, you just have to... The um the levels of retardation that we're going into is just amazing. A lot of niggas are retarded, okay, and we have people like Dane Color we're posting this, but this is this is a um um this is an Indian person, but they're not from America, okay? But he will post this and say, Yo, we was already untold stories, we was already you're not these people, okay? And the only people that fit this is these people because this is not you. And you say this is your granddad. You see all these people, they have straight hair though, okay? And you see these people's phenotype is almost like a Mexican looking face. But Dane Colorway is posting this saying, this this is this is us. <laughs> we was already here. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's just it's it's retardation going on. 
okay? And when you post these paintings saying this is you, it's not you, okay? Look at these people's noses. The only people that match this is this, okay? And you see the hair is long and it's straight, okay? This is not your granddad, bro. You need to stop this shit. See, see, next time a black person tells you, yo, this is me, just, just say cool story, okay? Just say cool story, sounds amazing, okay? It just sounds amazing. Look at, look at all these people, okay? And when you look at the paintings, look at the people's noses. Look at the people's noses. Look at the people's noses. They all have the same noses. Even though they're black and they have dreadlocks and whatever, this is not you, bro, okay? This is these people. They have Mexican-looking faces, though, okay? Same shit. Everywhere you look, look 